Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching. As always, I, I appreciate your support from the depth of my soul. Anyway, so I had started this reading initially, but I just was not feeling the energy. So I said, you know what? I'm going to start this over because this is not sounding like what I am. So I'm going to start it over. I had to take yesterday off because I just, I've been stretching myself a little too thin. I have too much going on in life. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take today off. YouTube will be okay, okay? I'm not famous anyway, so no one's going to miss me. Anyway, so let's see what in the name of source is going on here from your own very menace to society. We have a king of pentacles here that's going through some type of rude awakening. Someone is going through a humbling experience. Someone is losing quite a lot in finances. This is someone that was extremely financially focused, superficial, and things like that. Someone felt very invincible to the universe. Two people, it's like this is one of those people that when you come across them, they may present themselves to be genuine, nurturing, down to earth and things like that. But this is someone that saw themselves or see themselves above everyone else. It's like because I have money, I'm better than you. Um, Because I have a connection with this person, I'm better than you. This is just someone that think that has a ego that's a little bit too big for them so the universe had to humble them this is also someone that could have been doing things behind the scenes in regards to some of you putting an end to your finances your connections interfering with your life in many different ways um and the universe is putting an end to this you know a lot of karmics they don't understand emotions they don't understand uh, uh sentimental th uh, val values they don't understand connections and things like that. What they understand is money. And that's the one place you can always hit them where they're going to feel it. So if you take their money away, that is the moment you will get their attention. If they somehow manage to have emotions for someone in their life, hold someone dear to their heart, and something happens to that person or that pet maybe, that is the only way you can get their attention. So these types of people, it's very, very hard to get them to understand things from other people's perspective because these are textbooks, textbook of uh, narcissists you're oftentimes dealing with. So the universe has been giving this person a lot of opportunities to do right, to change things, change their direction, things of their nature, but they have not been listening. So the universe said, hey, you know what? Mm, we're tired of redirecting you we are tired of being patient with you giving you opportunities to leave this person alone to leave these people alone since you won't listen we're taking your money away so this person is losing a lot of finances now they will understand what it means to be in the shoes of the people whose path they have been interfering with causing hindrances blocking and things like that someone is very superficial this is like a, a hedonist this is someone that overindulges in everything. This could be like a drunk, uh, someone that's into additions and things like that. You know, I'm not going to say the word on here. Someone that just overindulges in everything. And this is someone that likes for people to know that they have money. So I don't know what it is they're going to do now that they don't have money or their money is not what it used to be. The, the numbers ain't adding up no more. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do, but yeah, someone is going through a very, very humbling experience. Also, for some of you, I'm getting that there's a masculine or just someone in here that was expecting to get some type of money so they could go and show off. Someone was going to be traveling the world, just living their best life, and it would have possibly been on your dime, right? Someone was trying to steal money from you, but the universe is doing stuff in a very creative way. For some of you, this person was able to steal this money, but I wouldn't lose sleep over it because it is a curse that they have accumulated for themselves, right? So this person doesn't quite understand how things are going to turn out. It's like a, a, a thief feeling really excited that they were able to, you know, steal your money. Maybe you had like $500,000 coming in you didn't know about and someone went and forged documents and things like that in the courts and ended up getting your money and they're going around celebrating. I stole from this empress. I stole from this star seed. I stole from this uh, emperor. Only to realize that they stole karma. Uh, that's all they took on. And then their life is going through mayhem that they cannot stop. Someone is not protected. Okay. Someone is not protected at all. And this is something they brought on themselves. Someone was paying money to get like advice from practitioners behind the scenes and things like that to interfere with people forward movement 
to just cause a lot of mayhem and stagnation in people's life. And for some of you, this person has been paying a lot of money for a while to different people just to bother you, to bully you, to stalk you, things like that, right? You are like this person life focus. They see you as their purpose in life. Taking you down is their purpose in life. So now that this person has lost a lot of money and things like that, they may want to come in and cause you some type of illusion. It says someone is in a hurry to go to somewhere, meaning to come to you. They want to come in and present you with some type of love offer because they know you have some finances coming in. This is a plan that's just not going to go anywhere. This person knows something about you that you may not know or a group of people know something about you that you may not know. It's that people were doing a lot behind the scenes to get you to lose something. And even if you lost that something, now they figure out or found out that you have something even better coming in. And now they're fighting amongst themselves. There's something going on here between either two masculines or a few masculines, right? It's that, I'm going to say two. There are two masculines in here that may be interested in a feminine energy. There's an emperor, and then I'm seeing a king of swords, okay? This king of swords and this emperor are fighting because someone wants to take action to come towards you, either to confess love to you or to just offer you some type of business opportunity or just offer you some type of new beginning. And one of these masculines are just, it's just not having it. It's like they're over it. They're, they're like, you know that I want to be with this person or I want to work with this person. Why would you do that? So there's a sense of betrayal here between these masculines. Honey, I'm here for the tea. I don't know who this is, who you are, what this has to do with. I'm just here for the tea. Okay. The tea, he, he, he. That's all I'm here for. And I'm loving it. So we're going to see which one you end up picking up. Uh, going with let us know in the comment section if this is your read who you decide to go with anyways uh, So this person this king of pentacles i'm being drawn drawn back to wants to come in and give you this false sense of a new beginning in love and things like that This is someone that is a trickster. This is a thief. This is someone that's extremely manipulative This is someone with an ethereal motive ethereal motive, right? Uh, so I wouldn't really Think too hard about this type of person. This could be someone from your past. Someone you may not even be well acquainted with, but you know of them. So when they come towards you, just be mindful. There could be a plan as well to send someone towards you who is a false king of pentacles. So this person is going to present themselves to be very financially stable and focused in life, family friendly, very nurturing and things like that. And this is not someone that has a drop of love for you. This is someone that was paid to come towards you. This is someone that was groomed to come towards you. You have been being studied for a while. So people think they know exactly what it is that you want in a man. So they are doctoring this person up to be your ideal counterpart so that you can actually miss out on a connection with your ad with your actual so twin so just be mindful of any love of any love connection being offered to you um coming up okay don't rush in love it's not something that's forced um you have all the time in the world to decide who you want to be with take time to get to know people before you start jumping uh off the boat to get in a relationship with anyone okay i don't care how good looking they are um so you this emperor in here wants to have victory with you and is pissing this king of swords off as well um because this what i'm getting is that this king of swords connected with you first in some way shape or form it does not have to be romantic this could just be like maybe you worked with someone went to school with someone and you two connected on um on a mental level or even somewhat in a emotional way and they became drawn to you and now this person may want to work with you or start something new with you but then this emperor you may be around this emperor and this person wants to have a new brand new passionate beginning with you they want to have success with you so this person may be planning on how to approach you or to start some type of connection with you and the two of them are fighting there's a group behind the scene as well that is fighting because they're realizing as i mentioned before that nothing they did 
really interfere with your life. It didn't stop nothing and you're still moving forward. You still have amazing opportunities and connections coming in. This King of Swords is wanting to take action immediately and come towards you uh, to offer you some type of work opportunity. But there's something here this King of Swords may have done in the past that's preventing him from coming towards you like he wants to. Anyway, stay blessed. I'll see you in my next week. Goodbye for now.